Okay, well I've been working quite a bit with my um, lid motor top charger and I changed the top uh, arrangement. I was using this sort of a top and I was running the top on a platform right there with gravity holding it down and I reversed it to the xenomorph idea where you suspend it from a magnet here. There's a, a neomagnet there and a neomagnet there and a screw that's got point contact on a little plastic disc between the uh, neomagnet and the screw and then uh, that's the big neomagnet there that's being pushed by the field of that magnet there and this is the circuit if anybody uh, wants to slow pan this uh, stop it and take a look at it this is what I'm using on this particular device right here this is the the lid motor top charger circuit. It's similar to a Bedini, but it's not a Bedini. Uh, the way these coils are joined is, is quite a bit different. But uh, the way this thing works here is uh, it's a um, neodymium with a steel ball and then a, a wood shaft and plastic and then a screw that's just attached to the neodymium right there. It looks like that. That's the blow up of what it looks like inside. And uh, like I say, it's a neodymium that's uh, diametrically magnetized with a steel ball there. And then uh, a little neo there, and then a screw, and then another neo at the top. And the way this works, it's pretty darn neat. You just hang it from that little magnet right there. And you lower it down into the field. Got a little lowering device here. Get it down to where it'll affect the the magnet. Because what happens here is this thing here triggers the the uh, energy in one of the coils on that bifiler, which turns the transistor on, which sends the juice to the other coil, which turns the rotor there. Let me see if I can get it to go here. There you go. See the lights going on there? And that's wobbling around. That's starting to spin up. Let me see if I can stabilize it a little bit here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up out of the field a little bit to where it... Um, in fact, I'll just take it off. I'll show you how this works. Okay, that's running right now on inertia. But then as I get that into the field, you see those lights come on? That's when it starts firing the coil, and uh, that's actually spinning up. Every time I move that into the field, those lights go on, and that's firing the electromagnet and spinning this thing up. But that's, uh, that's just running on inertia. Part of these designs have to do with kinetic energy and inertia, and they carry it through the pulses, because this is really a pulse motor right here, and that's what's going on here. And I find that very interesting as... Uh, the uh, kinetic energy aspect of these little pulse motors. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and attach this here and let it run on its own. Depending on where you have this, it wobbles around a little bit. You get it set up just right and it just sits there and spins. And uh, one thing I have to have here, something doesn't make any noise. <laughs> Too many of my projects make lots of noise, and this one doesn't. But it's just a, like a Bedini. It's it's driving off one battery here, runs through the circuit, picks up back EMF, back spike, charges a second battery. And then I have a switch here to flip it back and forth between the batteries, and a little speed controller right here, which is the the potentiometer in the circuit right there, which controls the electricity going to the base of that transistor. But uh, I like this circuit. This is a, a nifty circuit. It's like I say, it's like a Bedini, but it's not. It's um, kind of like a jewel thief deal. And these little LEDs here, I have found very, very handy because you can see when the coil is firing and how fast it's firing, and uh, uh, you can tell a lot by those uh, LEDs right there. Anyway, that's the latest uh, to do with my uh, lid motor top charger and the xenomorph idea of hanging the rotor from a magnet.